uh, a million years ago, 1970. Don't forget it. Just like 70 something. I need my 20 fingers and several other people. Thinking about uh, a, a guy named Albert Wadel, who uh, was an old prophet. And uh, I was saved probably. 72, 73. His wife is. Uh, uh, What's his wife's name anyway? Some of you Dorothy. may know her, Dorothy Wadle. She Mrs. still Wadle. comes yeah. around all the charismatic fellowships and mm -hmm. such. But she, but, but he prophesied over me once. He said, uh, he took my hands and he said, "You're going to go all over the world and you're going to heal the sick and you're going to preach the gospel mm -hmm. and the doors are going to be open for you and everywhere you go, the throngs will come." And like I'm like 20 years old, and they're oh wow, thank you, praise God, hallelujah, this is great, let's go, let's go back this weekend. And he looked at me, and he just shook his head and laughed, and he said, by the time that happens, he says, you'll just be happy that your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, mm -hmm. and there'll be no greater thrill than that. And I'm thinking, yeah, we're right. <laughs> you know? But uh, so I've been waiting 38 years for that to come to pass. And uh, for, so, so now that's coming to pass. And you know what? He's right. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the greatest thrill is still in the relationship oh, with yes. the Lord. It's still in yes. his friendship. And, you know, and I say, Lord, you know, I can just stay here. I don't have to go anywhere uh, to, to, to be content. Uh, but uh, anyway, I've been waiting 38 years for this day mm -hmm. to come to pass. And so I'm excited about it, and I think it's the Lord, and uh, so we can move ahead. I've asked, most of you know John, John Mark Poole. Uh, he is uh, a good friend and one of our authors, and uh, is a very seasoned ministry in the laying on of hands and the prophetic word. And I wanted him to come here today to uh, uh, help me pray for these three install them in these positions mm -hmm. so that we can uh, uh, move forward. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to, uh, to see if, uh, uh, to give the guys a chance to uh, talk a little bit. Nathan, would you like to? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I have just a couple things. Mm -hmm. He's uh, a talker. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. No, um, I'm excited. I, there's a lot of potential. There's unlimited potential with this group. Um, there's yes. a lot of youth, a lot of people ready for challenge. And um, I think what we have is a strong foundation. We have a strong business model. Um, it's working. You know, we're selling books. We're putting money on the bottom line. It's perfect. Um, but there's unlimited potential. The technology, the, the new avenues, if you're reaching the core, you know, getting out there and hitting the ground roots, there's um, there's just unlimited potential here, and I'm really excited about that. Right. Uh, Nathan already said everything that I thought was important. What he said. What he said. What he said. I always have to send myself emails because I, otherwise I can't remember things myself. <laughs> you don't have an hour and a half to go on. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I had, um, just wanted to share this. There's a few things I always remember that I learned from my mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you learned a couple things. <laughs> Make your bed. <laughs> the things I remember about learning about, think about what what it means um, to be a leader, what it means um, to have a responsibility, and um, the things I remember most was that uh, a leader has to have honesty, has to have the wisdom to recognize. Um, the courage to see it through. Experience, whether for the good or the bad, I think. We've had so many bad experiences through the years. That's good. The good ones is what uh, puts numbers on the bottom line. 
The bad ones what teaches you not to do that again. Exactly. <laughs> so the knowledge of right choices comes in. So yeah, right. But we have to have the knowledge that wrong choices cost money, cost jobs. Right choices mm -hmm. save jobs. Put the numbers on the bottom line. And the knowledge, as you pointed out before, that it can't can't be done alone. It takes all of us together. Now, those were the key things that uh, have always stuck with me. And, um, and it's, it's really funny because it's almost like you, you're reading my mind because I said, what are, what are the three things that are um, important for Death's Image right now for everybody to know? And um, the very first thing was we're committed to remaining a solid company. You pointed that out before. We're solid right now. We're committed to staying solid. Uh, we're committed to growth. As Nathan pointed out, there's lots of potential. But, um, and as the company grows and benefits, so does everybody else. Mm -hmm. But I think at the same time, we're also good at having a, uh, a solid and calculated growth so that we don't risk that solid core. And we're committed to the vision. You know, uh, Destiny Image has a mandate to publish the prophets, to be the full gospel publisher, and we're committed to that. So three things. We're committed to staying a solid company. We're committed to growth. We're committed to the vision. And that's what's going to keep moving us forward into the next decades. So maybe one day, Donnie the turd is... <laughs> <laughs> Not the turd. <laughs> That's the part. <laughs>